Hello everyone. This is our second lecture in which we are going to see our first unit that is a Indian Contract Act 1872. Okay. In our first lecture and prior to this lecture, we had seen the introduction of business law. Okay. So. The term law in its general sense may be defined as the rules of human behavior recognized and enforced by the state and through its court. Okay? Means what? Like our democratic country, India. India is a democratic country. So in India the parliament or appropriate state legislature makes a law as such law would create and recognize certain rights and duties to the citizens okay like that there is also mercantile law okay so you all know what is this mercantile law mercantile law is nothing but it is the law or it is a those rules or regulations which is basically going to govern the business transactions okay that is a mercantile law there are various sources of this mercantile law like english law then english common law english mercantile law then principles of equity okay law merchants statute of a british parliament okay then statute of a roman law okay these are the various sources of this mercantile law so mercantile, mercantile law is nothing but it is a bunch of law which deals with the rights and obligations of mercantile person arising out of mercantile transactions. Okay. So now the scope of mercantile law was very large. Okay. That includes law of contract, then sale of goods and then partnership, then negotiable instrument. Okay, these are the part of this mercantile law. Okay, so in that our first unit that is Indian Contract Act. Okay, 1872. As we had seen, it was enacted on first day of September 1872. Okay, in this where no. The concepts like contract and agreement, okay. So, in the Indian Contract Act 1872, it is told that all the contracts are agreement, but all agreements are not a contract, okay. Why this is to be said, we are going to see in our unit number 1, that is Indian Contract Act 1872, okay. Prior to that, there are some basic concepts like promise, agreements, Contract, what is the proposal, acceptance, consideration, what is the enforceability of law, that all small, small basic concepts we are going to study in this our unit. Okay, so first we are going to see the definition of contract. So here it is the definition of a contract, the Indian Contract Act, the definition is given in the section 2H of this contract and it defines a contract is an agreement enforceable by law. Okay. So, what is the contract? Contract is nothing but it is an agreement which is enforceable by law. Okay. So, there is a for a contract as in our prior slide we had seen all contracts are agreements. Okay. But that agreement, when it is going to be converted into a contract, when at that time when there is an enforceability of law is occur, at that time that agreement is going to be converted into contract. Okay. But all agreements are not a contract. Why this is to be said? Because there is a no enforceability of a law to each and every agreement. That's why that is not going to be counted as a contract. Okay. So, this is the definition we had seen. What is the contract? So, the contract is nothing but it is an agreement enforceable by law. Means, 
if there is a enforceability of law to agreement at that time agreement is going to be converted into a contract it is given in a section 2h of the indian contract act 1872 okay that it is the an agreement between two or more persons to do or not to do some act okay whenever this contract is going to be happen at that time there is some promises given from one person to another person through this definition we are going to know that there must be needed two parties for creating the contract at that contract one person is giving promise to another person to do or not to do some act okay if that promise is going to be accepted by the second party at that time that contract is going to be created okay in fact every promise forming the consideration for each other okay in that promise there must be formation of a consideration is needed and at that time that agreement is called as the contract and it is a valid contract because whatever the essential grounds for a valid contract that is going to be completed by this agreement okay so uh, here contract uh, the in the equation form we are going to see what is a contract here given that contract is equal to an agreement plus enforceability of a law okay so as we had seen in the definition an agreement which is enforced by the law that is a contract so in equation form an agreement plus plus enforceability of a law is there okay then as we had seen an agreement which is enforceable by the law so what is this agreement okay this basic concept is also going to be studied in this unit now we are going to see what is this agreement okay so under section 2e of indian contract act 1872 an agreement every it is what it is a promise or set of promises which forming consideration for each other is an agreement okay getting this so what is this agreement so agreement is nothing but it is what it is a promise or set of promises which is going to form the consideration consideration means what giving something in return okay if uh, for example in our day to day life we are always entering into a contract okay we are forming an agreement those are uh, some are the enforceable by law or some are not a enforceable law that is a common agreement or social agreement okay so but uh, that uh, agreement which is a uh, enforceable by law, by law that is going to be converted into a contract so agreement is what it is nothing but it is a promise or set of promises which forms the consideration for each other each other means what parties of the agreement and parties of the contract okay so a promise is essentially an offer or a proposal made by one person or by any entity towards another that is going to form the agreement okay jaise ki hum agar example ke taur pe dekhna chahiye jaise morning mein hum uthte hain hamari routine hum start karte hain to hum jo hai contract mein agreement jo mein to hai anjane mein wahan pe enter kiya karte hain jaise ki agar aapko college mein jana hai ya kahi aapke job ke liye jana hai tab aap kya karte hain vehicle nikalte hain तैयार होके व्हीकल निकालते हैं जब आपने देखा कि व्हीकल में पेट्रोल कम है तो आप क्या करोगे पेट्रोल पंप पे जाओगे वहां पे आपकी व्हीकल में पेट्रोल आप फिलअप करोगे आप तब कहा क्या करने वाले हूँ वहां पे आप जो है आ, ऑफर जो है तैयार करने वाले हो प्रपोजल जो है आप वहां पे करने वाले हो, वाले हो जो भी वहां पे पेट्रोल पंप पे जो भी आ, क्या बोलते हैं उसे सेल्समैन रुका है उसे आप बताओगे कि हमारे व्हीकल में पेट्रोल डाल दीजिए तब ये क्या हुई ये आपने की हुई ऑफर हुई और आ, आपकी ऑफर को उसने क्या किया है रिस्पॉन्स किया है आप उसने आपकी व्हीकल में पेट्रोल डलवा दिया है और उसके बदले में आपने उसे क्या दिया है कि 
पैसे इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मनी यू आर गिविंग कंसिडरेशन रिटर्न बैक टू दैट सेल्स पर्सन ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट द प्रॉमिस और सेट ऑफ प्रॉमिसेस यू आर फॉर्मिंग द प्रपोजल एंड there is the consideration given by you is the money to that sales person and that and on behalf of that that money that sales person given you the petrol and likewise this agreement is going to be completed so in the equation form an agreement is equal to promise plus consideration okay here the promise or the set of promises is going to be formed and for that uh, completion of a promise some consideration is going to be made up of and that is going to be given to each other okay so this is what the definition and the meaning of an agreement okay afterwards we are going to see the definition of a promise okay so the definition of a promise is given in section 2b of the indian contract act 1872 okay here the promise is going to be defined the term promise here as when a person to whom the proposal is made signifies his assent thereto means whenever any person assigns his proposal to other person and that other person is going to signifies his assent that proposal is to be accepted at that time and whenever that proposal is going to be accepted at that time that is going to be made uh, that is going to be transfer into a promise means proposal when accepted we can say that that is going to create a promise okay so in the equation form we are going to see pro uh, promise is equal to proposal plus acceptance M means when one person makes the proposal to other person and other person is going to signify his assent for that proposal means he is going to accepted your proposal and given the acceptance at that time that proposal is going to be converted into a promise okay it is given in a section 2b of the indian contract act okay is it clear for you okay then our next uh, bit that is a essential feature of a contract act okay so what are the essential features of this contract act so under section 10 of indian contract act there are some uh, essential features of a valid contract given in that first essential feature is a free consent of the parties that is going to be said as consent addendum okay then second feature is the legal capacity and competence of the parties okay then third is the consideration fourth is the lawful object and lawful consideration okay so these are the some essential requirement or features for the contract act uh, uh, or for this valid contract we are going to see in a deep in our next lecture okay thank you